what is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video and in today's video i am going to be refining 5.2 wood one of the main reasons why i'm refining 5.2 wood the prices have spiked as you can see on screen right now this is how much wood is selling for in Martlock. so i'm looking to fill in that gap that a lot of other refiners haven't filled in right now i invested roughly 23 million silver uh, in buying resources in order to refine the 5.2 wood as you can see on screen right now yeah we're just gonna head on over to the refining station guys and as always i am gonna discuss certain things that i think you should know as a refiner or as a person looking to make silver and i'm gonna give you some tips that i use some tricks that i use along the way and yeah um let's head on over to the station guys and get this out the way one of the things that i like to do uh, when it comes to working economy when it comes to refining crafting all that is i like to do my homework i can't say this enough i see people still commenting on my videos like what is the best thing to refine i'm honestly just gonna keep it 100 with everyone that's watching my video right now there is no good thing to refine because the market changes every day so today hide could be good to refine you can make millions but then tomorrow hide could be terrible and then wood could be better my first tip for you guys that's looking to get into refining or working in an economy especially if you're new is to always do your homework guys i know this is painful but spend 30 minutes um checking prices for different materials in different cities just spend 30 minutes to an hour once you do your homework once you do your research and you have everything written down you can come back tomorrow or another day buy those resources that you're looking to refine and refine it and make huge profit okay i do understand that in my past videos i don't really fully cover um certain aspects when it comes to refining i'm sorry because it, it there's a lot of work that goes into it and i always gloss over or forget to add some things so right now the first step when it comes to refining is do your homework i did my homework when it came to 5.2 wood and as you can see on the screen right now that's the first thing i did i pumped a lot of silver into buying 5.2 wood all right so rule number one always do your homework right rule number two and i think i should say this because a lot of people um probably don't say it on their youtube channel especially a lot of economy workers is don't be lazy okay now i know it's hard for a lot of you guys and for me as well here's what i mean by don't be lazy i see a lot of you guys saying in my comment section but musi transporting on an ox takes forever i know i did that myself that's how i managed to get a mammoth i started small and all i did was one hour a day so if you can spend one hour a day gathering one hour a day transporting and refining doing buy orders one hour a day going to the black market then you can get there all right there's no excuse if i could do it you could do it you, you've seen my channel my youtube channel i've done a lot of bandits where i've lost million dollar sets i've done a lot of ctas where i've lost a mil million dollar sets and i've done a lot of ganking they're all on my youtube channel you can see them i made time to do pvp and so on and also work on my economy and i did it when i had no mammoth i started off using just an ox a tier 8 ox and a winter's bear okay i will transport hide to matlock refiner and then sell it i would also transport fiber from bridgewatch to limhurst and then refine it and then sell it and i would be making my passive income from there i would also spend 30 minutes doing buy orders for uh t flat tier free gear and transporting it to carry on to the black market and, and making i don't know two to four mil per transport so if i can do it you can do it it just comes down to your routine um do you have a plan set in motion where you can um achieve these goals so what i will do is I, I will try and make between 8 and 10 mil a week so i would set a goal for myself all right at the same time as doing bandits as doing some ganking as um, ctas and so on i will set a goal before i even had a mammoth where i can transport a lot i could only transport small amounts i would set myself a goal of making 10 mil a week and i would achieve that goal with or without premium all right if i had premium it'll be a lot easier but a large majority of the time of me achieving these goals was without premium so every week i will set a goal of 10 million and if i achieve 10 million within one week that extra let's say i have an extra three days let's say it took me um four days to reach 10 mil silver or five days the last two or three days any extra silver from that that i achieved 
that goes towards buying um gear that i can int or go and test out in the black zone or the red zones all right so every week i would set a goal for 10 million i will have a plan in mind on how i can reach achieve that how i could reach that so i will do some refining some transporting to care leon and maybe a few gathering i i'm not really a huge fan of gathering but i am a huge fan of transporting and refining and also transporting to care leon and using my focus to focus craft either food or weapons or armor i will do that every week and just achieve 10 million some days or some weeks i will get more than 10 i will get like i think the most was like 16 mil in a week and I, if if i made that a habit every week i would always have silver that i could keep and save up now that i'm at a mammoth it's just i can make 10 mil a day but i want you guys to understand that the second most important rule is don't be lazy have a plan put it in motion work every day in achieving that because i see you guys writing in my comment sections i don't want to do it takes too long but if that's your mindset if that's your goal that you you can easily give up then that's you brother um me i'm not i'm not a quitter if i set something if i set a plan or i i plan to achieve something i put my mind to it and i grind it out but if you're easily um, persuaded to give up then of course you're not going to achieve this all right um my advice for those of you that's easily persuaded to give up if you really want a mammoth then just credit card swipe it's going to cost you a couple hundred dollars but it's fine uh, i think it's fine like if you have the money to waste it go ahead but me i've always been this type of person i've always been determined to achieve something put my mind to it and go at it uh, i don't like taking the easy way out one of the main reasons why i like working or grinding towards a certain goal is the experience and knowledge that i gain while i'm doing that and here I am right now, passing that knowledge on to you, my viewers. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of our refining session. It did take quite a while because I had a lot. But anyways, as you can see right now on screen, we made 27 million uh, silver back. So I invested 23 mil and we got back 27, which is a beautiful profit. Uh, I will be doing a calculation. So bear with me and we'll do a calculation to calculate our entire profit. Right here, let's do the final calculation so you can see how much profit we made. So on screen right now, you'll see that I bought the 4.2 planks at 720 silver per plank. I bought the 5.2 wood at roughly 1250 silver, so 1250. And I'm looking to sell it at Martlock, as you saw earlier, Martlock is buying it for 4098. So that's how much I paid for the resources all in all my entire investment the crafting station cost seven out uh, seven sorry my bad 570k the actual number will be on screen right now so for one stack of 999 5.2 wood according to albion 2d uh, it gives me a profit back of 1.2 the actual number will be up there i made back a total of 5265 5.2 planks uh, each plank is selling for 4098 per one plank so in total i made a profit of 6.6 .6 mil the actual number will be on screen right now then i gotta minus the cost for the station so the station as you as i said was 570k minus that my actual profit from this entire run was 6 mil all right guys so as you can see on screen right now today was very productive for me i made a total of 6 mil and i just repeat this process not only for wood but for every other resource there is out there i hope you guys learned something i hope you enjoyed the video drop a like if you did and if you want more content like this just stay tuned guys because i try to do this all the time anyways it's your boy musi and i'm out